Hi right, guys, so this back here in silhouette, because we're backlit as hell, is the Moster 185 Factory R. Um, it's on a Pluma frame, which is the exact same frame that I usually fly. Uh, the guys at Fly PPG hooked me up with it to try out today. Uh, and I'm pairing that with a 14 meter ozone free ride. So if you guys are aware, I fly a 15 meter free ride usually. So this is one meter gnarlier. Uh, and my buddy Kyle Mooney hooked me up with that. So thanks Kyle and thanks Fly PPG. Um, this is officially the most gnarly, badass rig that I will have ever flown. And um, I can't wait to get up there. Oh, and we're at Bad Apples, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Pluma with the factory R. It's also the new Pluma frame, which I haven't flown. Oh, and dig this. It's got a prop that is literally the same size or bigger than the cage. So it's a no power forward type of machine. They put this on the thrust table earlier. I thought I heard them say like 160, 170. And most of the mosters I think were doing 150. So I think there is a little bit of an improvement. Of course, there better be, right? Thanks, Judson. <laughs> so I set up before Judson, then he set up in front of me and blew away my wing. What a guy. Hoo -hoo. It sounds dirty. I'll get in the air and I'll tell you guys what the differences are between this motor and the one I usually fly. Because they're both motors, but we'll get in the air before we talk about it. Whose fucking motor this is? Who leaves a motor in the middle of the field? Fly in etiquette, guys. Get your stuff off the field before you have a conversation. A little bit of a skip there. Holy shit. Immediately I noticed the difference. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, let me preface everything I'm about to say with this statement. I was planning to fly this and not freak out when I took off, because I've listened to my past reviews and I'm always like, oh, this is great! And uh, it kind of comes off as disingenuous, but... Um, that's how I feel right now. This is this is amazing. That it's not it's 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 better. It is a vast improvement over the Moster. So all right, we got a lot to talk about. So first thing, what I usually fly, you guys know, I fly a Moster 185 with a 287 reduction, 2.87 reduction, um, with a 130 centimeter two blade prop. That's my main motor. All right, and what is on this machine, this pool that I'm flying? is the Moster 185 Factory R. So you guys are probably aware of this motor already. A lot of guys do reviews on them. But I don't know if they're all flying 140 centimeter prop. It's a 140 centimeter prop, sticks out past the freaking uh, cage. So you cannot do power forwards on this machine. Not that you need to. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just basically the most gnarly rig I can think of. You're, uh, I mean, there are bigger motors and smaller wings, but uh, pairing a Factory R with a freaking Ozone Freeride 14. Doesn't get any gnarlier than that. Let's see how she goes. Okay. I'll do a little bit upside downy. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. So uh, before I took off, uh, my buddy Judson goes, Hey Tom, what are you flying? to the 14 Freeride. He's like, Hey, be careful. Judson never tells me to be careful, by the way. <laughs> Um, but that's how, I guess, how much more gnarly he thought this wing would be than the 15. So, I'm just going to rip around and uh, see if that's true. I'm not 
used to this much power, and I don't know about that lean back angle. <laughs> it, I'm way back, man. And I'm trimmed at neutral on this free ride. This, I'm not even going full throttle right now, and I'm ripping. So many people at Bad Apples this year, you guys. I'm hearing numbers are on the 300s, registered pilots. And I believe it, because I've never seen this many people here. Two years ago, it was packed. This is next level. All right, let's get upside down on this bitch. Okay, wheelbarrow roll. Going to another one here, right side. What do you know? <laughs> Ooh, some energy she carries. <laughs> oh man. I will say the free ride dives, man. Does not like to hold altitude unless you're in the power for those uh, wing overs and barrel rolls. All right, quick check. Anybody around me? Oh my god, dude! Woo! I just wanted to see if I could get into like a semi nose down type of situation. Nah, not gonna. <laughs> that is pretty cool. basically full throttle and let me tell you what it's like to fly a free ride like the small free rides you're not pulling the brake on the side that you're going into a wing over you're pulling the other side because once you get it going it doesn't want to stop it wants to get bigger and bigger and bigger so you have to slow it down to keep it where you want it so it's a it's a weird feeling you're it's kind of like when you're you know, on a street bike you push left handle bar to go right, right handle bar to go left. I guess it would be a shitty analogy, but an analogy, but it's kind of like that. You're, you're pulling outside brake to keep it from going over the top. Here we go. God damn. Whoo, this combination you guys 14 free ride and a factory yard with a 140 that's no joke my own wake so yeah big thanks to the guys at fly ppg hooking me up with the motor to try out they also took my stepdad for a tandem ride yesterday and uh when we got here he's talking about buying a motorcycle and uh after yesterday's flight i heard him ask me yeah what what do these things run you know like what how much is a trike <laughs> i was like that quick huh that quick and it is that quick
This is fun. I don't want to give this gear back. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm not doing the classic I went to bad apples video because uh, I think they're kind of boring and they're also a pain in the ass to make. But I did go to bad apples and that's where I'm at. And it is a record turnoff this year. Um, and the weather was freaking perfect. We're talking temperature wise, everything. Um, flying every day, flying even like three, four hours before sunset, flying midday. Just awesome. And uh, you know, at night it was cool enough. Uh, didn't even need the air conditioning in the camper, so that's how gorgeous it's been. Yeah, dude, I gotta rip it one more time. I was gonna go into land. <laughs> Never mind. One more quick rip. Not in this field. There's too many people here. I see shadows everywhere. No, thank you. Wow, that's next level, dude. That is gnarly. Like stupid. Okay, so final thoughts on the Factory R. Like I said, I was expecting it to be better, but not all that noticeably better. And it was much better, very, very noticeable. I don't know the price difference on these motors, but um, the Factory R is, is a level above what I'm flying. Um, it spooled up a lot faster too. I don't know if that's just I went to the 268 and I'm used to the 287 reduction, but it's very snappy, tons of power, sounds awesome, looks sexy. It's a badass motor. And that Freeride 14, exactly what you'd think. It's, it's a meter smaller than a 15 Freeride, which is already ballistic. So um, it's gnarly and it's a ton of fun. Um, wouldn't want that to be my only wing, but I think that's everybody's feeling on it is that they love it, but that's not your that's not your only wing. You don't want to be flying that on some nasty days. So, um, again, thanks to the guys at Fly PPG for letting me borrow that. And um, thanks, Kyle, for letting me borrow the 14 meter free ride. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. What up, Kyle? Yeah. We're out here eating boo dan. Judson Graham out here. We haven't met, but I gotta meet you soon, so hit me he up. He knows who we are. We're eating boudin, Kyle.